The show is amazing. Where is it? It's over at Bally's. Yeah. In the same room that they have the LA comedy uh, room. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's awesome. It will, uh, more ways than one, fuck your mind up. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, and, and it's good, and uh, we're going to get into that, and uh, so much more on the show today. We have Mike Van, he's supposed to be stopping by to uh, do some new songs for us as well. It's Darius Stone coming in late, everybody, like uh, like every other black man, late. <laughs> he's on Negro time, you know. <laughs> What's going on, man? You want to shake your hand, bro. You, uh, you want to get the little one out? The one behind oh. you? <laughs> anyway, it is, uh, it is uh, the Rock and Comedy Show, and we've got that going on. We've got the best of Craigslist. Linda's going to have the news for us. Yay! That's right. Lots of good news today. And uh, we've even got what we like to call the Mexican word of the day, everybody. Yeah. Are you ready for it? Sure. The Mexican word of the day today is ice mocha. I got it. I think I do too. <laughs> you want to try um, first, Linda? When I get home from landscaping, I put my feet up and grab my pot and I smoke up. That's good. I like it. But you did you have to be racist and include landscaping? Well, <laughs> that's not racist. <laughs> <laughs> So stereotypical. Well, it's stereotypical. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's pretty close. Because uh, I have, uh, I have a really bad memory. I wonder is it because I smoke a lot of weed. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> so, and if you didn't know, today is National Junk Food Day, everybody. So, mm. eat healthy. <laughs> Tomorrow is uh, National, uh, what is it? National uh, Hammock Day tomorrow. So, put your feet up, relax a little bit. So there you go. But uh, Darius Stone is here, everybody. Your mic is now on. We're ready to go, ready to rock. Say hi to Darius. What's going on, everybody? <laughs> How are you? How you doing, man? What's your name? Frederick. Oh, nobody cares. What's up, Darius Stone, man? Nice to meet you. Oh man. Uh, actually, I would have been on time, but I just wrecked my scooter, man. How did you do the way here? Hit a speed bump. No, I, I was coming around this corner over here. Uh, what is the name of the street? Marmot? Before yeah. Marmot or something? Yeah. Anyway, man, and somebody pulled out like a little too far. I guess I was going a little too fast, and my whole school busted up on me, man. Wow. Yeah, look at my pants, dog. I got some duct tape. Oh. No, I don't need no duct tape. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, Frederick Silva is here. He is uh, he's going to mess with me. That's why I come with duct tape. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Yeah. That's what happened. Yeah. 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 For my jeans. Yeah. Yeah. No, I don't want to duct tape. You're a genius, though. You can help me duct tape my scooter when we get through. Man. <laughs> yeah. Life, everything is off. It's crazy. The gas was spilling all over the place. Oh. Yeah, it was bad. Well, at least you're okay. Yeah, you for right now. Because I can't lose any more co hosts. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Wow. Not a game, man. I really hit the ground. I'm sore. You can't see them. I turn too wide. Trying to so so be a black. They're well, probably white. It's a racist thing, I'm sure. I doubt that'll work. He'll probably be like that black guy. He's going to get another guy. 16 days in jail. He probably smoke at the mocha. Or the mocha. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, uh, we're going to have a fun day today because uh, Frederick De Silva is here and he's, uh, he's going to mess with our minds a little bit. Hopefully. We'll yeah, see. we'll see. We'll see. Have uh, something to hide or something like that. Mm -hmm. Just tell me if you're uncomfortable. Well, uh, before the show started, you uh, you set Linda up a little bit, so let's tell everybody what happened. Right now. Right now. Okay. Not uh, yesterday. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'll ask you to think of someone who could be close to you, any person you want. Someone it could be someone in your family, it can be a friend, a relative. Uh, Whatever. Do you have a name in your mind? Yes, I do. Yes. Did you say this name to someone? Did I? Yeah, no. Today? No. no. Here? No. Yeah. No you, one knows. You do not know what it is. Um, do you want me to try to guess what's the name? That'd be amazing. 
I would like you to look at me right now. Okay. Come close to me. And look at me here. I want you to put your hand on my hand. Cool. I want you to think this is the first letter of the name. Alright, and try to repeat the name, the letter in your mind again and again. Just put it on a piece of paper. Repeat the first letter of the name. Letter D? Yes. Are you serious? I am serious. Wow. Concentrate on the second one and repeat the letter in your mind. Oh. Yes. Yes. Freaking me out, man. <laughs> and you swear that you're not a stooge or whatever. We just met. Yeah, we ago. just met. Yeah. yeah. When I will touch your forehead, you will tell me the name in your mind. Just believe that I can hear you. Okay. All right. And look at me here. Okay. Take a deep breath in. Tell me the name just in your mind. Come on. Are you telling me? To Donna? 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 Am I close? You got it. Really? Donna. Are you serious? I am yeah. dead serious. That's what she wrote down. Whoa, I wrote it down. That's what That's I wrote dirty. down. That's tight. That is unbelievable. Cool. Here, I'll put it up on the camera so you can see it. Wow. You're, That's you're real deal, right? What do you do? Is that you just you read lines or what? Absolutely. I have a show of the Bali's hotel which calls paranormal. So we reproduce these kind of effects that looks impossible to understand for the audience. Uh, it's amazing. So That's dope. Yeah. The show is amazing. He took my he took my friend Krista on stage and and uh, messed with her for like 30 minutes. He made her think of something and she had to hold her on to it for like 30 minutes and then came back and it was great. That it was a card. It was a card trick, but it was amazing. Oh. Yeah. Oh, maybe she guessed my card and I had it on the table or something. Like that. Maybe. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I'm, yeah, I don't remember what it was. When I, you go in and take a book and you know, he might call you on a book that you have. And that's cool. It's a great show. Oh, that's amazing. Out of all the names possible, that's amazing. Ah. <laughs> so, uh, when did you when did you learn you could do this? Well, I started when I was basically it has been all my life. I started when I was five. Uh, I realized that I noticed things about people that people don't notice. And uh, first of all, I want to be a magician. Then I want to be a hypnotist, and finally, I try to. Uh, figure out something which is between all these kind of uh, arts, which is mentalism. Where basically, we reproduce effects that uh, sounds impossible for the audience. So I don't claim to have any kind of supernatural power. Uh, so but he does. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, it's, a, it's, it's a question. Uh, uh, I think that our mind is not as limited as we think it is. And uh, just uh, a simple thing is when you're sleeping, when you dream, you know, that your mind goes faster because uh, you have an impossible imagination. When you're dreaming, your mind creates uh, another another life, right? Yeah. At the same time that you're discovering it, it's, it's without any lack of inspiration. It's, it's doing hours and hours and, and it's something impossible. If I tell you right now, just tell me a story, you, know, uh, you will have a lack of inspiration, you know. Uh, but in your subconscious level, I mean, we only use 10% of our brain uh, but it's not true when you're sleeping. It's just on your conscience. Yeah, that's amazing. So, are you uh, are you one of those uh, mind guys that can like bend spoons with your mind? And... Mm, no, I don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> you can, or you don't, or you just don't. I did it in the past, but uh, it's not just my style. So, so what, what is your style? style? Well, I have people in the audience. I don't want them to put uncomfortable, so I try to. Uh, people feel uh, uh, people like to be on stage and ask them to think of a name of someone or take a word on the book or I can touch one person and the other person on the stage that I am not touching feel exactly the same thing and uh, I can have two people thinking of the same number or whatever there is a lot of predictions of, of things uh, it's uh, it's very exciting but it's not something that uh, uh, you're not uh, Chill, a child could see the show, so uh, right. it's nothing weird. Right, right, right. It's okay. not like the haunted house or whatever. Right? <laughs> it's, I'm not on the dark side of, of this art. Nice. Mm -hmm. You could be. Uh, yeah, I would not I would not be doing that on stage. <laughs> <laughs> so, you, you want him to mess with you a little bit? 
Yeah, yeah come on. Let's oh, start. That, yeah, that's a show. Yeah, that's a show. <laughs> I was not expecting. <laughs> uh, I'll ask you a book. Do you have a book with yeah. you? Yeah. Right. So I've never touched this book, right? Right. Uh, it's really your book. Uh, so, right. Uh, oh, cool. And uh, so here's what uh, we're going to do. Do you need glasses to read? No. No? no? Okay. Um, just say stop whenever you want. So memorize the first word of the page, don't think nothing about it. You have it? Yeah. yeah. All right, cool. We can take the book. And I just uh, will ask you to do exactly the same thing, okay? Just look at me now, and you will think just of the first letter of your word, and you will just repeat this letter in your mind right now. Just follow the mind right now, and just repeat the first letter. S. Yes, yes, S. <laughs> yeah, think of the second one. T, T, T. Yes, T. Are you serious? When I will touch your hand here, you will tell me the word in your mind. Just look at me now and just look at me. And just when I will touch your hand here, your hand just put it away from here. Don't. Oh. Oh, I, I'm French, so I don't know what. Is it stomped? Stomped? Stomped. 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 Like you stomp somebody's feet or something. Yeah, you stomped. Oh, yeah, this is what I feel. That is what you. That yeah. was crazy. Yeah. That's your book. Whoa. That was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, bird, <laughs> big bird. That was dope. <laughs> hey, I don't usually believe in that shit either, but I didn't tell him nothing. <laughs> nothing. And people, he came in late. And I came in late. <laughs> I ran to my scooter. Maybe did you know that? that? Why, did yeah. you make me wreck my shoe? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. <laughs> so you've been doing this uh, for how many years now? Uh, I don't know. Maybe all my life. When I was a child, I already I already made shows. Uh, I have a special authorization of the government, so I will be able, I was able to work, and I even have the legal page to work. Yeah, a special uh, what? Alter alteration of the government? An authorization. Oh, notarization. Okay. Yeah. Uh, to be able to work, but uh, I was a child, so I, well, yeah, I would not be able to. So I was uh, at school during the day, and every night I was performing in, uh, everywhere in restaurants. I started in restaurants uh, doing this kind of thing that I'm doing right now with you, like a magician would do with a card trick. I was doing these kind of things. And uh, then I started making parties, and then I, I went in the competition. Uh, so I was twice best mentalist, best mentalist of Europe. And uh, I decided to come here in Las Vegas. It has been always a dream for me to be here in Vegas. It's been very challenging. And he's only 25. Wow. Oh, 32. <laughs> uh, How old are you, 25 or 32? <laughs> he's 32. He's 32. 32? Oh, okay. Yeah, that's crazy, man. Congratulations. Thank you. So, how did you get started in that? Like, well, I mean, I know you've been doing it your whole life, but I'm saying, when did you recognize, like, oh, man, I'm. I don't know what this feet, what she feel say to me, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, how did, what, what? Yeah, do you, yeah, do you use it on a date? Like, you're like, I know what she's going to say to me. Finish your sentences. <laughs> yeah, um, that was a good time. Well, I will be honest with you. I, I yeah. do 300 shows a year. Uh, Damn. Uh, I've been traveling all my life. I never take a vacation. Uh, I never went in holidays. No, I, I'm, I'm one of the owners of the Bally's Window Theater. Uh, so I produce other shows. So basically, I don't know nothing else in my life than than working. It becomes an obsession for some reason. I, I can't rest. So, uh, so I don't really have a social life like people can think that I can use it. Uh, uh, because uh, the only thing, that, the only interest that I have in my life is being on stage and do and do what I do, and sharing this with the audience. So. Um, what about, what about like if you go in and get like a, a, another type of deal or something, or you get a closer <laughs> deal, you're like, you're like, where do you put that in the ass? <laughs> <laughs> you're like, where can you give me the money that I asked for? Like, do you do that? Yeah. No, but that, that's what I say. Probably people that have this kind of ability, they have goals that are not uh, entertainment, probably. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. I don't know. I would, man. I'd be like, crazy Jay, like, what if you start paying me? Now? <laughs> you know? <laughs> and then he'd be like, you know what? I'm going to start paying you, Darren Stone. Yeah, I'm going to give you some money, dog. Maybe he pays me more to make you forget about this idea. Oh. oh no. See? That's not cool. That's not cool. Just pay me once and, 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 and show me how to do it. How you do it? Teach me. Teach me in my mind. Don't tell him. Yeah, can it be taught? That's a good question. 
Um, well, I, I think it's like a magician. I mean, uh, there's a, it's a secret. All these things is about a secret. And uh, when you know the secret, well, uh, it's not as exciting as, as... It could be still exciting. Sometimes I do some lectures from, for professional mentalists, and they tell me that most of the time the explanation of how I do it, it's more fascinating than the original effect. But obviously it's not something that I can share with the audience. It, it, it would be like a magician that explain you how the trick is done. Right. I think it's more powerful when you, when you don't know what it's about, because the imagination doesn't know where to go, and, and, and it's an unknown uh, world, and everything which is unknown is fascinating. It's unknown, but it, it's been un unreal, but it's still real, because you can still see it. I mean, I'm here just in front of you, and it's just something that happened. So is it something that we can all do? Uh, I think it, it, the show is a question, so uh, and I like that. My thing is this, though, knowing that type of stuff at five years old, you know what I'm saying? What, what, I, I don't know. I just don't. Yeah, did it freak you out at first, or um, how did you how did you respond to yourself at five years old? You know what I'm saying? Being just a toddler. Oh, look, I can, I can read this woman's mind. You know what I'm saying? My teacher is she's giving me an A. You know, and you didn't even know that she hasn't even graded your assignment yet. But she, you know what I'm saying? Like, how do you, what do you do? Well, there's a lot of work uh, around that. It, it's not just a gift. It's it's a mix of uh, of uh, of uh, practice type of uh, neuro linguistic programmation of body language of inspiration about uh, influencing people about making them forget about something that just happened. Uh, mm. So there's science, there's uh, there's observation, there, there's a lot of things uh, that come on the same on the same second. So your there's so many things that. People's mind cannot figure out all those things, so it becomes a miracle for people who see it. But you could, you could do it. You could figure that all out when you were five. I mean, that's that's what I'm saying. Like a, as a toddler, how did yeah. you how did you unravel this as a toddler? How do you re, like I said react to yourself, so to speak? You know what I'm saying? When that happens, it's like I don't know. It would freak me out if I could just. If I could just know what the what the other five year old next to me is gonna do, like I oh, like you were gonna slap me, but I beat you to it. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> Yeah. But because I always had this kind of ability and I don't claim that it's supernatural. For me it looks something normal, but uh, uh, yeah, like you see, like you can breath, uh, you, don't, you don't question yourself, you know. Right, uh, right. so for me it's just another ability that I have that which is part of of me. Right, uh, like me, having the ability to make people laugh. Exactly, you know, absolutely. It's natural. For it's natural. You, you know, and, and I'm pretty much sure that there is thousands of books uh, how to make people laugh. Uh, uh, books but, all over the world. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and you have this special ability. Like people have abilities or talents for dancing or, or being actors or music or whatever. I have this ability to make women fall in love with me real fast. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's been natural. How can, you, how can you handle that? You know <laughs> what, man? It's rough. I just start talking to women. And after a while, I just be like, you know what? Excuse me. Hit him with, hit him with the old school Martin, but be gone. You know, I already know you finna fall in love and you're crazy. I see you mean. I see you. Mean. You know. But no, man, that's that's a cool gift to have, man. Have you ever, uh, have you ever been reading somebody's mind and then encountered something kind of dark in their thoughts and you're like, oh, you need to get off the stage. <laughs> uh, yeah, it happens sometimes, but I always try to change the mood of the, of the person which is on stage to try to make him in a nice mood. So uh, it's not something challenging. It's not me like against he's thinking, the audience. I hope this guy doesn't figure out where I buried my wife. <laughs> Wow. You know, like 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 uh, yesterday, I was performing at the Bali's on uh, my show at four p.m. and I asked someone to concentrate on on a time, something that I do in all my shows. The guy think of a time, and I take a watch of someone in the audience, and I make the watch stop at the time that the guy was secretly visualizing. And the guy was not concentrated on the t on on the time. So, and, and I figure out, I, and I told him, "You're not concentrating on time, aren't you?" And he said, "No." And I say, so what are you doing? He said, I have a word in my mind. So I, I ask him, so what do you want me to do? I want you to tell me what's the word that I have in my mind. And I took uh, a pencil and I wrote the word paper. And I asked him, what is your word? And he said, paper. 
So he was trying to trick you. Yes, basically. but it happens quite every day. Yeah, because cool. you have a lot of skeptics that come uh -huh. in there, right? Yes, like, absolutely. They think it's a bull. Yeah. I, I was definitely one of them. <laughs> I was like, no, nah, I came late. She, we probably, she probably showed you the name earlier or something. I was late. Uh, <laughs> I, I, you just read that stuff. It was real. No, but, uh, and, and that's another thing. Now I throw frisbees into the audience to choose the people because from last year we had reviews that people say this this is impossible. He's got plants yeah. and that this kind is, of stuff. Yeah. I mean, uh, it's impossible. I, uh, you cannot figure out everything, so it must be plants. And so right now we have frisbees and we throw frisbees in the audience. So we have four people that come on stage and I do uh, on this, uh, right on the spot uh, do the show with these people. And then these people throw frisbees to another people, etc. during the whole show. So every mm -hmm. people has, and even if you don't have plans, some people, you could think that people have been hypnotized before or that I choose people that I feel good energy with them. So right now I can do it with any people anytime. You can hypnotize people too? No, but it could be part of the explanation. Like uh, you could be hypnotized, and I would tell you, "All right, so now we're going to have a radio show. I will ask you to think of a word, and you will think of that word, and uh, and you will forget completely. So right now you forget that you know me, so you will be able to say that we've never met before. So it could oh, be one that's of crazy. Yeah. So that's why I throw frisbees in the audience. So even that explanation doesn't make sense. Right. Has this ever gotten you in trouble? This gift. <laughs> Uh, be well, honest. No. There's no. nobody listening. <laughs> he said, no, yeah, no, it has. You see it in his face. Look, I can read minds too, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> no, How thing. many relationships that has it broken up? What do you mean? Between you and somebody else. Have you had relationships in the past? I, I, I'm and, telling you. It's, it's like when she comes and goes, we need to talk. And you're like, no, we don't. <laughs> no, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Leave. Oh, be gone. Women are very good to read men's minds sometimes. Right? Yeah. <laughs> um, no, the thing is, it's more embarrassing because in a relationship, the person always thinks that you are manipulate her. Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, so okay. even if you are not. Stop doing reading that, my think, mind. Yeah. Uh, so it's very difficult to to prove that you are just doing nothing. Yeah. Just yeah. Being <laughs> so, do you have that? You do have that trouble though, man. Just like. Trying to really be sincere with a woman, and she just takes it to the whole left field. No, you're reading my mind. You're just being sweet. You know I want that. <laughs> you know I like your hands being there. <laughs> you have too much imagination. <laughs> you have no idea, buddy. <laughs> or maybe you do. Shit. <laughs> so, do you consider yourself to be a psychic? No. What's what? the difference between a psychic and a mentalist? What I do, I have an explanation of everything that I do. So, uh, the explanation is a secret, but uh, there is an explanation. So uh -huh. A psychic doesn't have an explanation. It's just something that comes, and he just don't the know. The psychic's a lot of guesswork. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, it depends on what you. Uh, there is psychics that no, generally know that they are not psychics. Uh, well, let's see. Yeah. Well, let's see. What's his name? Uh, Edwards. John Edwards. John Edwards that can speak to the dead. Yeah, you know, and you have people in the audience, and he's like, "Somebody here just recently lost an presence. uncle. I have a yeah. male pet." Like, he, he's just feeling like somebody eventually is going to go, "Yeah, my uncle John just died sure. like last month." Yeah, you know? it's about the probabilities, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I think that's this is that's why I don't want to do that. As I'm telling you about the dark side of this business, this is what I don't want to do because this is being not honest with the people. Uh, uh, it's not a, it's not an entertainment, you know. Uh, right. Uh, in my show, you have music, you have lights, people applaud, people laugh. It's entertaining. Uh, I don't want to go. Uh, it's an entertainment. So it, is it an illusion? Is it a gift? Uh, whatever. Uh, uh, everybody is uh, can think whatever he wants. It's just an entertainment. I don't claim to be able to talk with the dead. I had a friend Jerry McAndrew that, that you know. That he say I can barely talk with the live live people, so I have a lot of difficulties in talking with the dead. I don't talk with the dead, even if part of my show I have a bell and ask someone the spirits to come on stage. But it's it's still a show. It's like you see a movie, you know. Uh, it's gotta be a show, man. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'll do it too. Of course, I have two for you. Two for you and your girlfriend. 
I don't have one of those, but I'll make yeah. sure to get one that night. Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you, forget that you don't like him. You like him now. <laughs> forget the fact that he's an asshole. He's not a kid. <laughs> So uh, when when is the show? Uh, how many days a week? Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday at four p.m. at the Bally's Hotel in Casino. Nice. Yeah. So and maybe you will be the next one to come on stage. You never know. I didn't catch the Prince of Wales tag my friends in. Really? Yeah. Yeah. How long did you? How long ago did you start going to Frisbee's? One year ago. Yeah. Yeah. When I arrived here in Vegas, it's my second year right now. Really? And, yeah. And I feel like a frustration to read the comments and say that the only bad comments that I have is uh, this is fake. I mean, it's just impossible. Those people are just plants. So there's no way. But I thought, wow, uh, uh, it, it's not a good comment, but I know that it's not the case. So right. that's a fantastic compliment. Mm -hmm. So starting tomorrow, I will figure out a way that people know that these people have been chosen randomly. Right. Because, I mean, even if you had them draw numbers, they would say, oh, yeah. that was planned, that was. Yeah, it is. It is weird when it's something like that. Even, even uh, you can be there standing in line an hour before you even go see Anthony Cools, and he pulls people up on stage, hypnotizes people like, "Oh, that guy's a plant." It's like, how's he a plant? You were there the whole time. Like you, you saw, you saw people I coming mean, into the theater. Regardless, you can, you can tell somebody a week prior, hey, man, you're going to come, and this is what we're going to do, blase, blase. Like, me and my brother, we do that even with some of the comedy shows I do. You know what I'm saying? I do stand-up comedy show. I have him heckle me, you know what I'm saying, just so I can talk the right mm -hmm. shit to him, and, and it'll be hilarious to the audience. Right. And, and it's something that we've been planning on doing for a week now, you know, but people never know who he is or what it's about or anything until, they, until I tell them, you know what I'm saying? Like, it yeah, but where, 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 where is the excitement of the performer doing what? Right. If right. I was doing that every day with students, I mean, what, what, what's the point? Right. What, exactly. what is my life about? How, it's, it's not a passion. You know, it's, right. Uh, I, would exactly. not, I would not enjoy it myself. And that's, that's why I tell people, man, like, well, if you're a skeptic, then go up there. Why yeah, are you sure. so scared? Yeah. Like, I mean, that's the thing. Like, I, I wouldn't mind. I want to know. Like, that's why I was like, when he, when he said, hey, you want to get messed with? Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> that shit. I want to know. I want to see if you're a real deal, buddy. I want you to do it again, low key. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm like, I, I'm still kind of, uh, but that was crazy. I Like, I read the word. And at first, I thought it was a temp when I looked at it. I had to, like, look at it closer. And I was like, oh, stop. And I didn't say it out loud. I didn't. And I tried my best not to move my mouth. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, how sometimes when you're reading, uh, like you accidentally, you know what I'm saying, mouth a word or something. So I was like, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, poker face. Yeah, the poker face. Yeah, poker have face. to give him the poker face. Exactly. He is the truth, man. Wow. Best Tell me your name again, Fred? Frederick. 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 I'm not even going to try it last name. De Silva. De Silva. De Silva. D A S I L V. De Silva. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Frank De Silva. Frederick. 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 Frederick De Silva. Frederick I'm good. I make you forget my name three times in just a second. <laughs> How can I explain you. those things? Here's for the crazy girl. Awesome, man. Yeah, the show, I, I, I was lucky to see it with Lenny last year, and it was it was fun. Wow. Yeah, Lenny was, uh, Lenny was also skeptical when he came in, but he, would, he left with his mind blown. It's very impressive. I can't wait. To see yeah, it. Can't, can't wait to see it. I, me either. Can I get another one so I can bring a female friend? I want you to play with her too. If uh, not, I mean, it's cool. I understand. You know, you know, you got limited tickets, but oh man, I know. no, it's it's okay for four people. I mean, oh, this oh, it is, is? For yeah, four. Yeah. Oh, that's oh, so awesome. Yeah. I'm bring my mom. <laughs> <laughs> we all want to know what your mom's thinking. Hey, everybody, man, yeah, my mom is great. My mom is great. I can't wait. I wish she'd been on the show today, because then she'd probably been like, I'm thinking, if you're wrong, I'm going to slap you. <laughs> <laughs> my mom is wonderful, man. You got it, man. She's, she's hilarious. Sure she is. Yeah, she's hilarious. What did your mom think when you were growing up, like, with that gift? Well, uh, I don't know. Yeah, they always, when I was a little child, all my, my, my parents, every every week, Every weekend, they, they spend their time in uh, having I had shows all the time, so I, I obligate my parents because I didn't 
I didn't have a car or whatever, so they follow me everywhere on the TV shows and all those things that I did. Right. So, yeah, I think they're very happy. But uh, they were scared at the beginning when I say I want to make a living with that. You know? Yeah. Have you ever like read to mom tomorrow and she's like, get out of my head, Frederick! <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever done that? Um, no. He's like, like, yeah, yeah right. I, I know. We have the same gift. I just don't know how to use mine, you know? <laughs> but no, man, I, you know, that would be crazy. My mom would be upset. So your dark Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then every yeah, day at 4 o'clock. No, basically, uh, I work all the time because now I'm operating the, the, the theater. So I arrive at 6 a.m. in the morning and I leave at 11 p.m. I work all my life on, the, on this theater. And, we're trying to bring some new shows. So we have the LA Comedy Show, which is performing uh, every day at 9.30. We have uh, uh, Tony and Tina's Reading every day at 6. And we are bringing new shows right now. Uh, uh, I can say that in right. two or three weeks. I got one more question, though. Sure. You know, since we buddies now and everything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> go back like four flats with a Cadillac, like, you know. Um, what is How? this smile man? What is this smile man? Look, he trying to read my mind. Tell me, tell me what I'm gonna ask you. What? Tell me what I'm about to ask you. Jay and I know that. <laughs> no, I just want to know. Can I get on the LA Comedy Show, man? Since you're operating, oh, how does that work? Do I have? Do you know anybody I can talk to? So I can yeah. be like, hey, yeah, yeah. sure. I will. I will. I'm not the producer of this show, but a uh, nice guy. His name is Joaquin Trujillo, which is my partner. Uh, Joaquin what? Trujillo. Trujillo. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And yeah. Matt, you know, two two nice guys. Yeah, yeah. We, we talk after. We talk after the show. <laughs> <laughs> it's my dog right here. Man. You know what I'm I just want to. I just want to be like a groupie, man. Let me just get all the little chicks that come to the show. You know, to your show and stuff, and try to get backstage. Mm -hmm. I'll be like, Nah, you gotta fuck me first. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I'm just playing. <laughs> You know, we can work something out. You're trying to meet Frederick, baby. I got you. I got you. Well, anybody out there looking for a uh, an interesting show to go see in Vegas, this is definitely uh, the ticket because it is. Uh, oh, it is so great. Fascinating. I want to go with Linda goes. Yeah. yeah. I think that'd be fun. Yeah, absolutely. Need good time. Oh, so y'all just gonna leave me out? <laughs> well, I'm gonna leave you right, you're more you're more than welcome to go with us and bring your mama. I will bring my mama. We want to meet your mama. <laughs> yeah, I would bring them on. One day we gotta have her as like a special guest on the show. She'd probably trip up. She'd be like, I can't leave my service hand. She's still on my zip hits. I'm going to put it up. She just asked me for something. <laughs> <laughs> she asked me yesterday, I promise. Uh, so are you on Facebook and all that so people can yes. uh, find you? From paranormal uh, Battles. You can look for my name, but here in America, people don't know how to spell my name. It's Frederick, F-R-E-D-E-R-I-C, De Silva, D-A-S-I-L-V-A, or VegasMentalist.com. There you go. Hold on, let me try that one more time, man, because I'm, I'm on Facebook right now. <laughs> well, he, he can get to, uh, if anybody goes to the Rock and Comedy show, right. we'll yeah, see it's, the it's, link. It's tagged there, too. Yeah, I'm so. friend with you. Crazy yeah. Girl. Don't don't admit that not really. Uh, yeah, I don't know why I like being friends with Crazy Jay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, this is Darius the last show. <laughs> <laughs> and why crazy? Why do you choose crazy? What craziness means for you? Uh, the name was given to me by uh, another radio personality um, back in the day, Doctor Demento. He just called me Crazy Jay, and it stuck. Right. And uh, we just broke a world record that would certify my. Uh, Craziness! I broke yeah. uh, longest uh, longest broadcast of a uh, radio duo or team. It was originally seventy six hours. We did eighty hours one day. Oh, that's my dog right there, Crazy <laughs> Jay, breaking world records, dog. Yeah, and we all have our own craziness. What, what's craziness? What's craziness for you? That was pretty crazy. Um, I don't know. I just uh, you know, I, crazy. I guess is when I drink and don't remember. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't get too like out there, too, too off the wall. But uh, people that are, but people that are truly crazy don't know they're crazy. So there you go. I guess maybe I guess, yeah. <laughs> And they always try to make geniuses seem crazy. I think that's why people always call me crazy because I'm really 
Keep telling it so much. When you know that you're crazy, uh, you're not crazy as generally. Right. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah, see, somebody else gave me the number, so they, they knew, they predicted yeah. that I would. Prediction. Yeah. <laughs> Mentally, it's probably a little bit crazy. The, the idea in your mind, he was a mentalist. But you, you will be crazy, and, and and you still believe that you're crazy, and now you become crazy. <laughs> For sure. How does that work, man? You put an idea into somebody's head, and they can they just out? Can they just live it? Yeah, it's, it, it's easy. You know, you're talking about ideas, and, and and what is the most resilient parasite? Is that a bacteria, a virus? I believe it's an idea because when an idea settled in your mind. It's quite impossible to eradicate. Like if I tell you don't think of an elephant, what do you do? You think of an elephant. Right. Okay. I try to do. So. I try to put an idea in your mind. Okay. I have a deck of cards here. You can take the deck of cards, and there is one card which is facing down. You don't know where the card is. Correct. Okay. So clear your mind and just think of a suit: spades, heart, club, or diamond. Say nothing out loud. It's in your mind. Ready? Okay. Open your eyes now and imagine the number from one to ten, which is on this card. Or it can be a picture card or an ace, but you don't know why you know, you know what do you know this card, what is the card that you have in your mind? Say that loud. King of Spades. The King of Spades, all right. Now you will choose for another card and then you will choose for another card. The third card that you are going to tell me will be the right card. So the King of Spades, tell me another one. Uh, King of Diamonds. King of Diamonds and uh, another, another card. Uh, five of Hearts. The Five of Hearts. So for some reason, you choose the five of hearts, and even you don't know that the third card will be the five of hearts, correct? No, I don't know. No. In this deck of cards, I told you, there is one card which is facing down. All right? I would like just you to take this card and show it to all your friends. What's the card? Shut the... <laughs> Shut the camera. That's the Damn, five son. It's the five of hearts. That's amazing. Now, I did know why I chose the five of hearts, because when you told me at first choose a number one through ten, you know what I'm saying, then you told me how to choose a face card, I usually choose face cards all day long, it would be aces and kings all the time, but then I thought of that number one through ten, I'm going to choose my favorite, one of my favorite numbers, right. five. Right. You know what I'm saying? But and then when you are in the rush and with all these things, the third time, you don't have time Right to make a decision, so it's just something that comes for quit. one reason, and even you don't know why you choose the five of hearts. I was like, yeah, <laughs> that's crazy. Five of hearts. That was tight. <laughs> Did you do that on purpose? Of course. <laughs> I'm saying no. I mean, like. <laughs> like, but I'm saying, how did the card already be faced down? You put the five of hearts in there. Yeah. You <laughs> Is your mind blown yet? <laughs> No, this, this guy's a trip. I'll see his show. <laughs> Frederick, Frederick De Silva. Am I saying that right? Frederick De Silva? Yeah, you did. Right. That's what I'm talking about. Go see him, man. Yeah, the show is uh, Paranormal. It is uh, Thursday through Sunday at 4 o'clock at Valley's. Go check it out. It is awesome. I've seen it once before. And it's amazing. And you will wow. see it again. There's I'm, no material. I, well, yes, he gave me a ticket. Of course, you yeah. can see it again. Yeah, yeah thank you. It's yeah, it's wait. Hey, yeah, that's really quite cool. Where the white women at? Any white women that want to go see the Frederick the Silver <laughs> show with you? Other than Linda Lou, y'all call Aww. me and let me know. Linda Lou, aren't you aren't you married? Yes, I am. See, I don't want your husband to get mad at me. Oh, yeah. Linda Lou is cute though, husband. Whoever you are, <laughs> what's your husband's name? Don't quit, tell me. <laughs> no, <it's funny>. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Well, uh, Frederick, thanks so much for uh, coming you. on the show today. It was amazing. And uh, yeah. if you guys want to be astounded some more, then uh, each we'll year send I will be back here. Yeah. Each, each year. Well, hopefully, we'll be more. more. Let's okay. not do it an annual thing. Yeah, maybe. you should come back more, man. Like, <laughs> cool. Come back when I didn't wreck my scooter. Come back <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I was late today. I didn't get a chance to interview you. I'm, I'm in pain. You see me? I see you. My hands <laughs> yeah. were nice. These were some nice buffaloes I had on. And <laughs> duct tape, yeah. I don't want to duct tape my pants. <laughs> that looks tacky, like, like weird out. <laughs> I don't do miracles, otherwise. Yes. <laughs> He's a guy on a fucking tailor. <laughs> Maybe be central can do something. Right. Yeah, yeah. Really. You know a good tailor? You got a nice suit on. I'm to my pants on. So. <laughs> so he doesn't perform miracles either. <laughs> So anyway, uh, we're going to take a break. we got more of the Rock and Comedy Show coming up. And again, give it up for Fred and Priscilla. Yeah! Awesome. Thank you.
And uh, we'll be back with more of the show, everybody, right after this. Thank you, guys. That was wonderful. Yeah. That was awesome. I'm sorry I got a left hand, man. But